Hey, do you love video games? So do I. I'm Ben, your guide and a principal environment artist at Respawn. For over a decade of experience in gaming, I've left my mark on some amazing titles, such as Need for Speed, VR Worlds, Halo Wars 2, and Suicide Squad. Witnessing the fusion of art and technology in gaming has been exhilarating. Our industry is constantly evolving and pushing the limits of entertainment. If your curiosity or passion for art and games led you here, you've hit the jackpot. Let's dive into this amazing world together. Over the past decade, I've become accustomed to the ins and outs of the industry. But there was a time when I, like many of you, didn't have a clear picture of the gaming world and all it has to offer driven artists. That's why I'm so excited to help bring you this introduction to the industry series from CGMA. Over the following few weeks, we'll explore the gaming industry from top to bottom. We'll cover topics such as the history, what it takes to be a professional game artist and where the future of the industry is heading. You'll also have the opportunity to create your own model that properly showcases your skills and style with me providing guidance along the way. Today, let's start with an overview of the gaming world, its origin, impact, and how creatives like you can fit in. The earliest video games invented in the 1950s were simple pixelated games like Pong. Home video games have been a success from the moment a company called Atari launched this basic game, Pong. They're selling like crazy. Eventually, players flocked to arcades to interact with classics like Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Donkey Kong, where we first met our beloved Mario, and more. Video games as we know them today started in the 1990s. You need a touch shot. Clunky pixels transformed into cinematic artwork, and simple challenges made way for compelling narratives. Instead of buying plastic cartridges to pass among friends, we now connect to a centralized system that allows us to play with people worldwide. These changes required skillful artists, thoughtful storytellers, and technical developers. In other words, driven creatives like yourself. And with the virtual and AR reality developments, progress shows no sign of slowing down. So where does that leave us now? Today, the games industry is larger than the film and sports industry combined. The industry has grown from 78 billion market in 2017 to a projected 384 billion in 2023. The most prominent players in the industry are studios and publishers like Sony, Nintendo and Activision. Each group makes billions in revenue as has thousands of game designers on staff. There are also powerhouse indie studios that feature much smaller teams or even individual freelance game designers. In the US alone, the gaming industry supports over 2 million jobs, and this number grows 10% each year. But it's full of opportunity and growth for professional creators, and this growth spreads far beyond games. We see tools like real-time tech, initially created and for video games, being used in almost every industry, from education to automotive design and manufacturing to architecture. Suddenly, Video games artists and developers are being sought after by various industries. And that's just the beginning. Take a look at AR, VR, or even the metaverse. Entire virtual worlds are being born with endless possibilities. And the good news is, there is a place for you here, and we're gonna help you find it. To understand where in the wild world of video games you might fit in, you want a basic understanding of what it takes to make a video game. So many different teams and talents come together to make a video game reality. This isn't an extensive list, but it covers some basics. It all starts with an idea. First, we have game design, level design, and concept art. These creatives brainstorm the earliest versions of the game. Game designers come up with the first iteration of the game, keeping in mind how every step of the process will look. Level designers create the most basic architecture of the game with a strong understanding of gameplay. Concept artists establish the look and the style of the game 
by creating concepts for characters, environments, and everything in between. Next, character artists and environment artists flesh out the game's worlds, characters, and creatures. These artists translate the 2D artwork created by concept artists to 3D. For example, one character artist could be completely responsible for only one character, or as has been the case with my work, one environment artist can specialize in a specific area, such as materials. From there, riggers and animators take over to make the character and the world come to life in a functional sense. These professionals are still creative, but need to be technical and knowledgeable to create realistic movements in characters, props, and environments. Here, it appears as though we have an animator brainstorming a full death animation. There's another animator in there. They're brainstorming together. Take note of their commitment to the craft. It's the same for VFX artists who create effects such as smoke, massive explosions, and more, as well as lighting artists who illuminate the environments in the game and create tone and atmosphere. These jobs might sound far away from where you are currently. However, most creators' professional journey began with a passion for art and games. Once you get into educational options for game art, it can get overwhelming. Here are some common options to consider when approaching training and education. One path is to attend an accredited art college. Art college costs an average of $42,000 annually for three to four years, allowing you to dive into your craft and build a community. Still, many incredibly talented game designers don't go to college. Most industry jobs and studios no longer require a college degree and instead ask for a strong portfolio. Suppose you do opt for a more affordable self-taught route. In that case, many online resources will allow you to develop artistic ability and learn software at your own pace, like this free course you're watching. Alternatively, schools like CGMA provide a structured and educational experience 100% online. Here, you can handpick courses that fit your interests from industries such as concept art, illustration, games and visual effects that are tailored to your particular skill level. Whether or not you're a beginner or an industry professional, you can also gain a community of classmates and a mentorship with instructors who work in the gaming industry, like me. Once we wrap up this free series, you can explore the entire catalogue of CGMA's offerings with a discount on your first course. No matter what form of education, game artists should prioritise mentorship and feedback. And remember, your education is never truly done in this world. There are always new workflows, software and styles to learn. That's what we love about it. I could talk about the video games industry all day the epicenter of the best creative minds and latest technology, where we constantly push ourselves to create something faster, cooler, bigger and better. And someday, you can be part of it. In the meantime, I'm so happy to welcome you to the industry. This is the perfect place to start. Over the following few weeks, I'll teach you the basics of prop modeling for games, helping you to build a portfolio piece. In so many ways, you're already ahead of the game. So happy exploring and see you in class.